still not got an intro. Anyway, today I think is technically the beginning of my nation challenges. Although I've technically already played with Belgium, I've still not sorted out the files from recording in Canada for that. I know, I only recorded it four months ago. But anyway, it's quite simple this series now. I just have to get top 100 with the nations I'm using. I have to always do it first time. And if I don't, which I think is a lot harder than you think it is. I mean, with nations force upon you, like even the bronze team, I got to like choose quick defenders. And as you'll see with Croatia one, like, the defence, there's just, sometimes there's just not one player that can fix it. But yeah, if I don't get top 100, I will do severe, severe forfeits. And I think it will happen. I think it'll happen a couple of times. So, comment below with what you think those forfeits could be. I mean, every now and again, I'll still do, like, something different to mix it up. I'll do small teams, tall teams. We've got an 100k team coming up. Just, like, OP league, stuff like that. The plan, not this week, but most other weeks, is to just try and do a live commentary as well because I think that's the challenge in itself as a lot of YouTubers this year who have played foot champs and pro players have just not even tried live commentary, to be honest. So, we'll just get straight into it. And, ladies and gentlemen, I think around the 15th game, I'm going to put this in the title, but I got matched up against the best FIFA player of all time. He is a Frenchman called Bruce Granick. Now, he's the most successful player of all time, winning the world, and well, being a world champion on four occasions. And just to take the mick, one of them was on Pez. So, me facing his stat team with Lovren and some Silvers that are just, who are they? Was arguably going to be my biggest test of FIFA this year, so... Let's see how I got on. Now, I don't think you can see his name yet. I mean, I had quick recording reactions, but not that quick. Now, as you can see here from kickoff, um, he was playing with me a bit here. I just couldn't touch the ball, I'm going to be honest with you. I was fearing the absolute worst, so yeah, paused it for no reason. No reason at all. So, you know, 17 mins in here, confidence building, still at 0 0, as this lovely passing move finds his way to Kovacic onto Modric. He goes outside for Cerna. Cerna onto Perisic, into Piaka, and I mean, admittedly, look at how it goes in, but you create your own look, people. Could we do it? So we've just kicked off now after going one behind. You know, I'm thinking, I'm sick at defending. I can, I can see this out. I can do this. And, well, um... Now this game, it was very much a sit deep than normal encounter. I mean, with my defence, if I play high, I'm going to lose. So that's obviously when we find ourselves in here as Piak is in. And we retake the lead. Come on. We managed to not concede straight away this time, so that's a positive. But could we spark wild, wild scenes and double lead before our time? We'll find out now with another counter and another chip from Kovacic to Piaka. Piak has gone first time to Perisic and, well... You create your own look again, I suppose. Now, I've got the stats on screen for those who are interested, and if you're one of them who thinks I shouldn't be well ahead here because of possession, then don't think you've ever watched football. Now, there's one thing we don't want to do, and that's concede straight away, but Subasic makes a heroic save. Clearance, bit dodgy. The ball's in absolutely no man's land here as it finds its way back to Pogba. Pogba's looking to attack with it, but my concentration is on point again. And Modric gives Perisic a chance to stretch his legs. And if you watch my bronze series, you know, Smalling, pathetic. We go, square it. Could that be fatal? Needed to score that. So we've got the same pair linking up again. Is Modric finds Perisic well. He's on the wrong slash right side of Ferdinand. Comes inside for Piaka. And again, we can't be missing these chances against a player like this. Piling on the pressure now. Best find himself in the box. Gets a bit lucky with the bounces. But I'm not really one to talk, am I? And that's 3-2. So there's one last attack with Mkhitaryan. I've dived in like an absolute idiot. Strinic gets in there. Game-winning tackle. Modric clears. And to my absolute amazement, the best FIFA player ever has been beaten with Croatia. Not too shabby, lad. That one is for all you. Not an absolute clue how I used to commentate on the bronze videos, by the way. That was tiring. I'll keep trying to like mix it up with post commentary, catch up, slight speaking to you and live commentary anyway. But one thing that I couldn't say before the game because it would have like given away the win is I'll show the last 10 games each week. And I mean, whether you believe me or not, I've no reason to lie. Don't care to be honest, but 
I weren't playing at home. I'll put a picture on the screen now. I was playing not on my Xbox, in a shirt and boxers from the previous night out, and the three losses I suffered up to this point were, one, apparently ventilation weren't getting to the Xbox, and the other two, it both said there's no TV output or something. Made absolutely no sense, but I'll show that to you. But yeah, it meant that I had to win my last 10 games to get top 100, the exact same position that I found myself with the bronzes, so you know, no pressure. Oh, this one was a tough game, actually. I mean, how are we meant to stop Lukaku? You may as well put your controller down as the two Belgians link and Spencer, mate. It's always a Belgian. You know, I think I've watched some things, actually, in like, on Sky and stuff, where a lot of players say Dembele is actually the hardest person in like the world to get the ball off. And well, it's proven right there as I get it to Sandro. And I think we've got very questionable defending coming up here. There it is. He gives it. You can't leave the best striker in the league unmarked. And it's always a Belgian. So yeah, we're in trouble. I'm throwing some random tactics around for no reason. And we'll see if it works. So we're looking to pull one back early in the half. Here's Perisic find himself through five star weak foot. And again, I just don't think it's going to be our day. But the ball's only as far as Lovren. Modric ends up with it centrally. It looks for Perisic. Perisic puts Kovacic in for once. Tries to chip the keeper. Trick, chip. 2-1. But are you at your most vulnerable when you've just scored? We're going to find out now with Pjanic. It's not looking good, is it? So we're needing something very, very soon if we're going to find something out this match. Cerner's driving forward. He goes outside for Piaka on his right foot. And he doesn't miss them. So there's 10 minutes left in, as he thinks he's wasting time, as you can see, I'm actually just cutting out every pass and making sure my players are in a position if I do win it, like I do here. Cerny gets it and plays a one to with Perisic, Perisic made to run, gets it back, and what a huge mistake that could turn out to be. But credit to him, he's the one looking for the winner with Lukaku. Here's Perisic, gets it this time, gives it Lukaku, he's open, and oh, what a block that is. But again, he's attacking with Mares. And we might have just got a tiny bit luckier. But thankfully, we made it to extra time as piaka has got it. It was a bad mistake on halfway by Bonucci as piaka has got the pace on him. Piaka's racing into the box. What's he going to do with it? He drills it across. Smalley with a clearance. Serna! And not only did we get lucky at one end, but just have a look at this. I mean, <laughs> it came off nine Golden's bum. So you've got a bit of a look into tactics here as I change formation and tactics when I need to like completely shut out a game right at the end. So whether it made a difference or not, as you can see here, we do come out with a very, very vital win. So anyway, upload wise, I'll give you a quick update. So basically, I haven't played enough FIFA whatsoever in the past couple of months. So this week in prep for Madrid, I'm just going to have to try and play as much as I can. Although, because I've set up a few nations to use for this series, I've just stupidly forgot. How disgusting was this speed-up lag, by the way? I don't seem to get that at home, but... Yeah, I stupidly forgot that I've just got nowhere near enough coins to practice with a team that I'll use in Madrid. But anyway, that means I probably won't be playing anything YouTube-wise this week, and I only actually played, like nine games a weekend just gone so there'll be no weekly rewards either i could potentially bring out my team of the year pack pull that's about four months old and don't worry the co-op season hasn't been forgot about again we actually have a very good reason for this small delay this time which i'm sure you lot will appreciate so that could be two vids until after madrid and oh i'll also vlog the trip too so from when that one comes out, it should be decent as we'll have this series. Gonna try and start a one that I'm just refusing to mention yet. The court with Tass. And I'm gonna give the pro clubs a go with all pro players because they actually received quite good feedback as an idea. And I'm gonna start playing a few YouTubers with maybe a bronze or silver team depending on if the YouTuber's like a very good FIFA player or not. So if you just wanna comment any YouTubers, do that below. I did actually try and record my last Sunday League match to see if you would have liked it for next season, but yeah, I messed it up a bit, so you'll just be seeing them probably next season. If you want any like 
football related content and challenges before then. I could maybe think of ways to like integrate them into FIFA and do some with people like Charlie Morley and stuff, but not to dig at football challenges too much. I just love matches like so much better because, well, you've got one chance at everything in a competitive situation and my mum could hit the crossbar with 50 attempts. Oh yeah, looking back at my uploads, by the way, I've like realised how stupidly high I've set the bar. I mean, my only gameplay videos are literally getting top 100 with the bronze team, my first and last week of FIWC qualification, which both happened to be 40s, even though I got like 39 and 37 in the two in between, and then the Hillsborough Tribute one, which was also 40-0, and the team weren't even that good, to be honest. But, like, if you watch other pro players or YouTubers, which I'm sure you will, getting 40-0 is still, like, extremely rare, even with these full team of the year squads, legend squad which they use, like, I'm going to be using Scotland and Ireland soon. My Ireland team has like three bronzes in, an absolutely awful defence, but is still miles better than the Scotland team, which shouldn't even be legal to use to be honest. So for me, like, I feel like you're fully expecting me to get top 100 with even teams like that, just because of that freak of a bronze achievement, when in reality, getting thought getting 37 out of 40 with them sort of teams should still be seen as like a very abnormal achievement and have like excitement around it. I wish I would have commented on this one to be honest. This was an absolute unreal game against arguably my hardest opponent as the lot as he goes ahead here. Oh you might have missed it there then but the top left actually showed me bringing on Mandzukic and well the rest is most certainly history. Also do not forget to comment with Different challenge ideas that I may have just forgot about that would be decent. One weekend, I'm going to be doing something called Fu... Can work it out. Champions. Where I'll have like a shot, maybe, every time I don't win by more than one. It's quite hard to think of, like, what to have a shot to. Because conceding, I'd have far too many shots and probably die. And losing would just be too little because I have like three and I don't want to do shots like apple styles or something I want to do something straight like the vodka so my reactions like whatever oh also one more thing on the pro clubs pro player thing I'm gonna try and get like nine outfield players and then I'm gonna try and leave one spot open to a viewer each week do you think like 50 or 100 and no would be far too realistic on pro clubs. Like, I don't want someone like that to stop the series. I mean, I don't play it this year, so I don't really know. I've not even got a pro and some others might be like that too. I think when you're on pro club, you can be an amazing player, but with them rubbish keepers you have, say if the other two people or however many others have got 90 pros, you literally just whack it and it goes in. So yeah, maybe we should just try and like go from Division 10 to winning Division 1 like at first attempt. I think we'll have like the Roma player playing, the City, West Ham, several clubs, several organisations. So yeah, should be good. Last game up here and we need a win to basically not kill a series after an episode. So man of the episode, Kovacic. Slaughters one ahead. Kovacic again looking for Piaka on the outside. Some lovely dribbling to create an angle. Bang, sure the game over. Or is it Sanchez is causing some problems? Bides his time, put it in the danger area. Peg one back. We're in trouble here. It's the same pearl link up again. And could I eventually bottle it? We're going to find out. He has really put MNEK in on his strong right foot. Could he finish it? No, back to Sane and I bet... You weren't expecting this. We've got to be looking to throw the kitchen sink now. As Piak is in, he has a go, blocked. Reed looks outside for Rooney. Rooney, what's he going to do with it? Looking to go. Strinich wins the ball high up. Mandzukic onto Perisic. And do not rule us out yet. We've got Piak now in extra time. Back six to Mandzukic. FIFA 14. He's not missing them, people. So another now would surely seal it. Modric looking to come inside. The net's open. Blocked. Perisic. Over. 3-2 down, we needed to win to get a top 100 and the match eventually ended 6-3. Not the most of convenient weekends there, but, you know, we did what we came to do. The defence actually played much better than I thought. So, if you've got a defence when, I don't know, they might be alright at defending but a bit slow, just put the custom tactics so the deeper, I mean, it's not rocket science. But yeah, if I was to recommend a player... 
Pjaka and Kovacic were both very decent for the price. Annoyingly, I didn't actually lose a game with them, but you know, there's going to be times when disconnects happen, so unfortunately, they are going to go on the table with 37 wins. I've also just realised that I forgot to put the stats of the players in, so I'll go and record that now and they'll be on screen now. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward with me, hopefully being consistent with the gameplay now, doing different challenges. Like I said, some will be post -com, some will be live, some will be a catch-up. Leave a comment below with what nation you think will do the best out of all of them. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. Thank you.